Hi everyone, today I've got good news for the forest. We're setting up a forest conservation fund that will incentivize forest conservation in agricultural supply chains. Well, about a year ago, we all read this report from Chain Reaction Research about the stranded assets that found six million hectares of forests inside uh, palm oil concessions in Indonesia. We were thrilled because it was a validation of all the work that we've been doing with all of our members to say no to deforestation, get deforestation out of your supply chains, and it looked like it was working. Their suppliers were leaving the forest there. But then we thought, well, what's going to happen to these forests? They aren't protected. How can we incentivize their protection? In sustainability today, there is a lot of no's. Instead, we believe that we can change things with a yes. We need to invent the yes. And that means creating, designing the incentives that will actually reward the efforts of those who decide to keep a balance between development, uh, economic expansion, and forests. And that's what we've been working on. So we looked at it, we said, well, how much would it cost to actually just protect six million hectares? Just protect, right? Just hire wardens, meet with the communities, create agreements so that people don't go in and hunt. And how much does that actually cost? And we just worked out at the back of the envelope, it would cost less than 1% of what companies are spending today on palm oil to protect six million hectares. It works out to about $40 a hectare. We said, what if we set up a fund where buyers or plantation companies could contribute and protect actual forest standing in the field instead of saying, oh, we're not going to buy from you, oh, we're cutting out palm oil entirely, but say, no, we want to support you to be able to protect these areas that we're asking you to protect. It's a separate organization with its own independent board of trustees. There's a grants committee of conservation specialists who will vet projects coming in. The projects can be from the company, a supplier company that has forest inside its concession. It could be an NGO that is protecting land already in the area. It could be a community that has forest. The idea is really to open it up to local actors that want to get involved in conservation change the conversation from being about just stopping deforesting to actually actively protecting our resources that are essential for them to even uh, operate as palm oil companies in the landscape. I like to say it's about like uberizing conservation, which means that it can scale up indefinitely to all you know, economic actors and communities around the world, potentially. But we also invite you, if your companies, donors, brands, willing to drive further forest conservation in the ground, accelerate it, to join the effort to finance and incentivize forest conservation in agricultural supply chains. And we've got a website. Yeah, fundforest.org. Thanks. Cheers.